everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video I'm going to be performing a crucial memory upgrade on this Core i5 21.5 inch iMac. Now this particular iMac uh, comes in either a Core i3 or a Core i5 processor. I had this one custom built to include a Core i5 processor and as standard it comes with 4 gigabytes of memory. Now you can expand it up to 16 gigabytes well, I'm going to install an extra 4 gigabytes from Crucial Technology, and that will take the total amount of memory in this iMac up to 8 gigabytes. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually use Geekbench. And if I just open this Geekbench up, you can see here that it gives you the specifications. Intel Core i5 CPU uh, running at 3.6 gigahertz and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now I'm going to run the benchmarks and then I will give you the results prior to installing this memory kit. So there's the uh, Geekbench score has actually finished and you can see here that it has a processor Intica performance of 6617. This probably won't change a lot after I've done the um, uh, memory installation. We've also got a processor flo floating point performance of 11391. Now memory performance, these are the results that we're particularly interested in. At the moment it's giving a result of 5152 and for memory bandwidth performance it's given us a score of 4282 the overall Geekbench score is 7761. So I'm going to pause the video very briefly and just prepare the iMac for the memory upgrade and then I'll be back with you to guide you through performing this memory installation. So this is one of the few computers that you can really easily access the memory via this little trap door on the bottom of the iMac. Now you could lay the iMac down to make this easier to install but for this installation I'm going to keep the iMac standing up on the desk just to show you how easy it is to access. Now I've shut the Mac down, I've turned it off at the power supply and I'm just going to press in and depress the uh, power button on the back and this is just to get rid of any uh, leftover electricity on the, um, on the motherboard and now I'm going to grab my screwdriver and just unscrew these screws now it is also worth mentioning that you should either wear an anti-static wrist strap while doing this or be using an anti-static mat or you can just touch a part of your computer's casing to get rid of any static electricity that you may have on you so this is very important because it protects the memory that you're installing so these are captive screws so they're not going to fall out they're going to stay on the plate I'm just doing this very gradually just to release this bottom plate go, that's one, two, that's the last one there we go, so that's the plate removed I'm just going to pop that down on my desk. So with that plate now removed, you can see actually up in these slots, there's already two memory modules just in these back slots here. And these are two two gigabyte modules that the iMac comes pre-installed with. Now, underneath the chips, there's these plastic tabs and you pull these down. Now, this is used for removing the memory modules. So if I was removing this back one here, for example, uh, to replace with a larger capacity, I just pull down quite firmly on this plastic tab and it actually ejects the memory module. Well, I'm not replacing this memory, I'm adding extra memory into the front slots for this upgrade. So I'm going to put this one back in. It takes quite a firm push until it goes back into the machine. So that's back into the slot. And then let's get one of these crucial chips. This is the first one. The fewer pins goes on the left hand side. I'm just going to offer that up to the front slot. And then again, it takes a fairly firm push to get it installed. 
and that's gone into place and then I tuck this tab back round and then I repeat the same with this other slot so this is the second of the crucial modules offer it up to that front slot very carefully push up into place and then again holding onto the top of the iMac and just a firm push to get that to locate into the slot and then again just neatly poke this plastic back under and then I'm ready to replace the cover so I'll pop this into place start with that middle screw just to locate it onto the trap door and then we do the side ones and then this right hand one and that is the memory upgrade complete all installed ready to go and now I'm going to pause the video again get the iMac started back up and show you what a difference that has made to the system performance so that's the iMac back up and running and I've got the Geekbench window open on the desktop at the moment and as you can see it's registering the 8 gigabytes of memory so we've now got 8 gigabytes in total so I'm going to set these benchmarks running again now in my past experience it's not going to make a lot of difference on the Geekbench scores but the memory overhead so that additional 8 gigabytes of memory will really help a lot when I'm running more than one application or perhaps something like Photoshop alongside Final Cut Express all at the same time so it's the, the total memory that's really going to help me out a lot so here we've got the Geekbench scores uh, for the 8 gigabyte installation and I'm going to bring up a picture that I took so I've got a snapshot of the previous scores with the 4 gigabytes in and as I expected Yes, there is not a lot of difference. In fact, on some of the parts, it has actually uh, sort of dropped in performance, but that's not to say that it's not going to help the system. So just to run through the scores, the processor integer performance, 6617 has uh, gone down to 6593. Floating point performance, 11391, and that's gone up to 11450. And then the memory performance 5152 has gone down to 4840, and the memory bandwidth performance 4282 has gone down to 3941. Now, I will also show on screen uh, the memory section of the Geekbench, and in the memory section with the new 8 gigabytes, we've now got a, a read sequential of 5265. Uh, which is 6.45 gigabytes per second write sequential 7982 5.46 gigabytes per second and STD lib allocate 4868 18.2 uh, malocs per second and the STD lib write 2630 5.44 gigabytes per second and STD lib copy 3456 which is 3.56 gigabytes per second you can compare those to the section on the left to see the um, scores on the uh, prior installation which is the 4 gigabytes so I hope that's given you an idea and as I say these Geekbench scores aren't representative really of what the 8 gigabytes of RAM will do for your system because it will just make everything run so much sweeter when you're running multiple applications well, thank you very much for listening. This has been Dave from Geekanoids performing a crucial memory upgrade on a 21.5 inch iMac Core i5. Please do subscribe to the Geekanoids channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And also follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids for all my regular updates. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.